Sometimes in the course of life hacks it's necessary to know what's exactly inside a photocopier's toner cartridge. In this video I'll take apart this cartridge here which fits a Kyocera printer slash copier. And we'll have a look inside. It's empty. All of the powder contents have been transferred from this to another uh, container or toner cartridge. All I need is a putty knife, a little lame putty knife to get this done. So the end of the toner cartridge has an end cap that's color coded to match the or indicate the color of powder that's uh, inside this container. This is attached to the container here with these three clips and this comes off really easily you just have to raise the tab and advance the cap a little bit just start anywhere it's gonna be a little bit skewed but eventually it's gonna pop off there so that's good underneath there is a plug this plug is where this whole container was filled with powder this plug is flexible but it's glued in place not anymore on this one you can usually somewhat flexible uh, some are more flexible than others this needed a little bit of uh, saw blade action there around its perimeter when it was attached there to cut away gently some of the glue and some of the bond and you can see some glue spots on it still so this is where a cartridge gets filled so this is the end plug over here on this side of the cartridge you have this uh, door system or chute system it doesn't need to be removed but we might as well do it this tab here can be lifted and then this door can be retracted like so that's how it opens and that's how it closes so that's that part it doesn't this doesn't need to be removed but uh, it's not originally part of this container but uh, it, because it, yeah it so it snaps on by inserting a knife there this just pops off and maybe on the other side there so this just snaps in place and is held in place by this tab here and this tab here on both sides here inside you can see there is some motion these gears move something on the inside and you can see these gears and of course rotate together like so so for transferring the powder content you don't need to take this one off and it's still a little bit colorful too colorful to my liking and there snap back in place a little bit of hand wipe and there lastly there's the lid on it do not take the lid off if you want to transfer the contents of it because the lid is glued in place and cannot really be reliably put back together it also snaps in place so it doesn't move right now but it's really just nothing is holding it in place on the inside of the lid there are some of these alignment tabs but you can see here along the edge that the glue bond or the or the bond had to be broken and it's not a super clean job what's inside the container of course is when I rotate the end here this is what's happening inside a plastic pedal is being rotated and this one is an auger not the one that lives under the bridge a different auger so this kind of auger that's mixing the powder and uh, and the pedal is rotating to stir up the powder like so and this little chute or this little gate was on this side here is not closed up but this is what's inside the container so that's why if you want to take the powder out from it just take the end plug off that's where you get the most bang for your buck you can transfer the contents by lining them up end to end and just turn it upside down gravity takes care of most of it and 
tap it, whatever, and eventually the contents can be transferred from one cartridge to another cartridge. So that's what's inside.